Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends with waiting just around the bed. The John F. Kennedy assassination occurred on Friday, November 22, 1963, in the Dealey Plaza, Dallas, Texas. John F. Kennedy was riding in the presidential limousine with a top down while driving through Dallas. With him in the car was his wife, Mrs. Kennedy, the Texas governor, John Connolly, and his wife, Nellie Connolly. John F. Kennedy was used to being in cars with their tops down. This was not the first time he was driven in a car with a top down. It also occurred while he was in Paris in 1961 and during his whole European visit in 1963 when he visited France, Germany, and Ireland. At 11.25 a.m., the president arrived at Love Field where the motorcade was set to leave to go around Dallas. The drive around Dallas was set to last only 45 minutes, but ran 10 minutes longer than expected because of the amount of people there were to see the president and two stops made by the president. By the time it reached the Dealey Plaza, it was only five minutes away from their planned destination. Hello, Mr. President. Good day. Good day, work. At 12.29 p.m., President Kennedy arrived on Elm Street. While passing the Texas School Book Depository, three shots were fired at the Lincoln Continental and everyone panicked. There you are, Mr. President. Bang! 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 Of the three shots fired, one was set to hit the President, another the Governor, and the other a miss. Amongst the conspiracies surrounding the event, the more than one shooter at the site is the most popular. President Kennedy was taken to Parkland Hospital's trauma room immediately. The staff announced the president's condition moribund, which meant there was no chance of survival. At 1 p.m., the president was administered the last rites and was pronounced dead. Lee Harvey Oswald ran away from the scene, being seen by co-workers, took the bus, took a taxi cab, and also walked fast back home. A 
Officer J.D. Tippett was an officer who was killed by Lee Harvey Oswald while Oswald was running. Tippett came up to Oswald because he resembled what was announced on the police broadcast, but as Officer Tippett approached Oswald, Oswald struck the officer and shot him four times with a revolver. After he killed Officer Tippett, Oswald was seen entering a theater without paying for a ticket at 1.40 p.m. Hey, hey, why'd you just knock that guy down over there? I'm going somewhere important, on jog. Important where? That whole city's on lockdown. Did you why? Hear? President got shot. Who shot him? It's a good question. You know what? Hey, did you happen to be on Elm Street maybe 10 minutes ago? Goodbye. No! Help. I need somebody. Help. Not just anybody. Oswald was caught in the theater he snuck into and was arrested for the murder of Officer J.D. Tippett until 1.30 a.m. that night and was discovered to have also killed President JFK. On November 24th, Oswald was being led to an armored car to be taken to a county jail when Jack Ruby came in front of the crowd and shot Oswald in the chest, sending Oswald to the same hospital. JFK was sent to unconscious. Oswald was later reported dead at 1.07 p.m. No regrets. Sir, camera down. Oswald! But that gun flip though. Bang bang! Uh, oh my god! Uh.